Anterior to the central sulcus, there is a gyrus known as the motor cortex of the frontal lobe. This is where there is a map of the body, which allows the voluntary control of skeletal muscle movements. One area controls the motor movements of the face, another area the movements of the trunk and hand, and on the medial side, uh, the movements of the leg and hip. Anterior to the central sulcus, one finds the precentral gyrus, otherwise known as the motor cortex. It contains a representation of the body, with the head depicted in one region, the hand in another, the trunk in another, the foot in another. And it is known as the motor cortex because it is here that the voluntary uh, skeletal muscle movements are planned. So activity in the facial area leads to voluntary movement of facial muscles. The mo uh, activity in the hand area leads to voluntary movement of hand muscles. Uh, activity in the foot area leads to voluntary movement of foot muscles. In addition to the voluntary control over skeletal muscle enabled by the motor cortex and the pyramidal system, there is an extrapyramidal system which allows for involuntary control of skeletal muscle movements. The control centers here are not the motor cortex, but rather nuclei deep inside the cerebrum, such as the basal nuclei, the thalamus, nuclei of the brainstem, and the cerebellum.